In this example, we're going to do a metric prefix conversion using a prefix that most people won't be familiar with. The question asks, how many teraseconds are there in 4.5 times 10 to the power of 17 seconds? So we first need to begin by looking up what tera means. Tera has a symbol of capital T and an exponent of 10 to the power of 12. This means that whatever our base unit is, there are 10 to the power of 12 of that unit in one tera unit. So if we're going to do our conversion, we're going to start with the value we're told, and we're going to create a conversion fraction. My recommendation when you create conversion fractions is start by getting your units correct, and then worry about the numbers that go with the units afterwards. So in this case, since we're starting with seconds, we make sure that seconds is on the bottom of our conversion fraction, and we're going to convert the seconds into teraseconds because that's what the question asked for, that goes on top. And then we use the number from our table, 10 to the power of 12, in one terasecond. You'll notice that the 10 to the power of 12 and the terasecond unit are not on the same line. One's below, one's above. This will always be the case if you use a metric prefix table. You would never put this 10 to the power of 12 directly in front of the teraseconds. Now that we've set this up correctly, we can notice that the seconds cancel, leaving only teraseconds. So the final thing to do is to discuss how do I put this into my calculator correctly. So a quick aside on calculators. The most likely button that's going to be your friend in this case is the EXP button. Now, if you're using a graphing calculator, instead you'll likely see two capital E's on a button. And on some calculators, you'll have 10 to the power of Y. This button lets us easily put scientific notation numbers into our calculator. So this values in scientific notation. So to put that in a calculator, you would put in the 4.5, you would hit your EXP button, and then you put the power. So the EXP takes the place of the times 10 in any scientific notation. Then because the 10 to the power of 12 in our fraction is on the bottom, we're going to divide. We're going to put in our calculator 1, EXP 12. Another quick aside on this, 10 to the power of 12 is the exact same number as 1 times 10 to the power of 12. It's just that in some calculators, if you leave out the 1, you may get an error. So you can try in your calculator, just do dividing by, leave out the one, just dividing by exponent 12. It may or may not work. If it doesn't work, you just go back and use divided by one exponent 12. Okay. When you hit your enter key in your calculator, your answer should pop out in one of two ways. If your calculator is set to automatically convert to scientific notation, it should say 4.5 times 10 to the power of five teraseconds. If not, it will say 450,000 teraseconds. Now, one of the skills you should have is converting between scientific notation and regular numbers. So if you have a regular number, you just imagine a decimal point at the end here, and there will be one, two, three, four, five jumps to move the decimal between the first two digits. That's why our power is five in our scientific notation. Going the other way, you take your decimal and you do five jumps, which would mean adding four zeros. And those are your two possible answers.